Thank you very much. Um, uh, my name is Bob Snyder, and this is Bill Dobbins. And uh, I know we're, we're doing our very best to be as safe as humanly possible by being masked up. And it uh, doesn't mean the music has to stop. And uh, just that was, uh, for me, it was pure joy. You could not see the smile on my face, but I guarantee you that it was there. Very much so. So um, I, I feel like it's been an incredibly long time since I played for an audience as large as that's out there this evening. I know we just have a smattering of people in the bop shop tonight, but I think there's a lot of people all over the world probably digging this that are um, starved for live music. And uh, I want to thank Tom and Jan and Dan and everybody here at the bop shop for, for making this possible. Um, it means so much to be able to, to play music again. And uh, it's extra special for me to be able to play with Bill because uh, it was just a couple of years ago he was my teacher. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, a couple of minutes before we started playing, he was still my teacher. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. So that was, that was a lovely old standard entitled um, Gone with the Wind. We're going to continue with um, a great Antonio Carlo Jobim composition entitled O Grand Amor. I think with the, uh, the hot buffet lamps here and uh, a little bit of passionate play on the guitar, I need to retune a couple of three strings. So just give me one, one second or two. Hold on. Some sharp, some flat, some okay. <laughs> That's a good band name. There you go. All right. Let's just amp up on a little bit. <laughs>
That was uh, Jobim's Oh Grand Amour. All right, we're going to continue with some uh, some uh, Richard Rogers tune that goes back a ways. I'm trying to remember what show it's from, um, but I can't quite remember. I'm sure somebody out there in uh, in the internet land <laughs> can probably just pull it up in another window on your screen and and then you can shout it back to us. We might not hear you, but uh, this is uh, entitled, This Can't Be Love.
Yeah. Jumbo. She's from Jumbo. Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. All right. Thank you, Robert Yanapolo. You no computer. No computer. <laughs> I'm I'm sure I'm sure somewhere's here in the bop shop there might be uh the original cast recording <laughs> of Jumbo. Wow. All right, I think that that might be the uh the greatest musical heartbeat I've had since early March. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Fun. Cool. So we're going to continue uh continue on and uh try to get my blood pressure down a little bit. We'll play uh, <laughs> a beautiful uh George Gershwin ballad entitled how long has this been going on it's not an editorial about covid 19 it's uh <laughs> it's just a a beautiful tune yeah yeah fix it okay
That is one of my favorite all-time tunes. Um, I say that about a lot of tunes, but that one especially. Um, cool. We're gonna um, we're gonna switch it up a little bit, and uh, we're gonna play something in in three four. I don't think we're gonna have any dancers tonight. Um, maybe in in your own homes. So we're gonna do um, a Fats Waller tune entitled The Jitterbug Waltz. And this is, this is an amazing piece of music. And there's so many different ways that, that people like to play it. And uh, we're going to throw in the, the little interlude section. Bill, was that ever in the original, or is that something that? No, I, that, I don't know where that came from, actually. But, uh, yeah. yeah. There's a really cool sort of like add-on to the tune, because I, I could never find a recording of Fats Waller playing it with this uh, this interlude no, no. so hopefully he doesn't complain <laughs> so uh, the jitterbug waltz and we're also going to try to tune this guitar one last time <laughs> <laughs> have you had that E again? I'm not sure if it's the same one as it started with but yeah <laughs> Let me, try, let me try a different note. Can I try G? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm in tune. Now you change your note. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, okay. As a little intro? Cool. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you so much. That's that is a timeless tune, and uh, I want to thank everybody for helping me be here to shake off the rust. No matter how much you practice at home, there ain't nothing like playing with people. So that's uh, that's that's one of the things that um, I think artists all over the world are kind of feeling. I think as people start to venture out a little bit more maybe you're able to play outdoors that's cool um and uh i do want to say that uh, as a music educator i feel very very blessed to have students that inspire me so much um i think if the students weren't so excited about playing music i think getting through this tough time would be a whole lot more difficult and i think also people out there that just love all kinds of music, not just jazz. That's what keeps the musicians going. Um, so one thing that, that Bill and I agreed upon um, is that uh, you know any of the proceeds, if, if, if you feel more comfortable making the donation directly yourself, you can, um, to the uh, Jazz Foundation of America COVID Relief Fund, please do so. Or if you want to send the funds to my Venmo and um, I will direct it to the Jazz Foundation of America, and I'd gladly post a screenshot of whatever we come up with. And um, I know it can be a tough time for a lot of people, so uh, if you know whatever you could do would be uh, would be really amazing, because I know there's a lot of people I know in some of the major cities who are having a tougher time getting out to make music again, and uh, and a lot of older jazz musicians who it's not safe for them to go out and play so hopefully we can do our part to uh, make make a little bit um, to send to the Jazz Foundation of America so we're gonna continue with uh, something else <laughs> So we're going to do um, a Horace Silver tune entitled Strollin'. Thank you. 
in a row, so <laughs> yeah. good good job. Uh, Bill, next one's pointed at you, best piano player. Oh, Good job in that one. Best in show. <laughs> <laughs> Bob, we're going to pretend this one's for you and say, hey, that's my grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. man. Uh, we, got a, we got a couple more once I pull them up here. Oh, my favorite one was, this is so good, it should be illegal. <laughs> and that and that and that wraps up our comment section. Hey man, if illegal makes us more popular, we'll go for that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Thank you again to uh, to Tom and to Jan and to Dan and everybody else here at the Bop Shop. Yeah. And thank you so much to Bill for doing thank this. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, this is uh, it's it's kind of strange when you play for a larger crowd. And you guys are a large crowd out there in the internet, but when you, when you play for a large crowd and they're all in the same room, there's, uh, there's comfort in that. <laughs> there's, uh, I, I, think, I think every little, every little thing that comes up, every little idiosyncrasy that comes up in my playing um, gets magnified with the steam in my glasses from the mask. And, <laughs> and then I, you know, so it's, uh, it's something I have to get used to, but uh, it is sure a thrill to be able to play some music again. Yeah. So um, we're going to close up with a song by one of my favorite uh, pianists um, on the scene. He's still on the scene today. I saw some pictures of him playing outdoors um, with a band. I think it might have been in either Brook Brooklyn or Manhattan, but uh, Kenny Barron wrote a tune called Voyage. and. Um, I just love this tune, and uh, hopefully you will too. Thank you again to Bill, and uh, thank you to everybody that tuned in, and thank you to everybody that uh, made a donation, which I'll redirect to the Jazz Foundation of America.
Trying to figure out what it means But the road's been good to me Lord, you know I can't complain Yes, the road is all I know Without it, I wouldn't be the same But as I roll down Flying and defying my heart Oh, well, it stays the same If I don't